So we're going to be talking about do's and don'ts of digital literacy. So one thing you don't want to do when trying to incorporate digital literacy in your classroom, you don't want to read all the way out of textbooks. You want to incorporate some online materials such as like Newzella so you don't get stuck in the rut of your students hating reading just out of the textbook. Another don't of digital literacy is using worksheets all the time. You want to incorporate like Google Classroom, IXL to expand their online horizons rather than just filling out guided notes or prepositions worksheet. Another do or another don't of digital literacy is giving out really hard tests that do not have anything to do with what you're teaching. So for example, this test says, has three questions. What is Shakespeare's shortest play? Okay, then it has who designed the Eiffel Tower? Those don't correlate, so those don't really work well together. So instead of doing tests, you want to incorporate like um, choice boards, something to display skills or escape rooms. And then another don't, of digital literacy you don't want to do is you don't want to give out definitions and have them right from the whiteboard. So you don't want to always using whiteboards to display what you're teaching. You want to use jam boards, smart boards, something else that takes their mind off of the general rut of school. And then another don't of digital literacy is regular discussions. So yes, discussions are can be beneficial in a classroom, but if you incorporate some online aspects, Padlet, even a canvas discussion maybe that might create that might get their creative juices flowing better and then another don't is always using matching games so yes matching games are good for visualizing out what you are doing but they also are kind of repetitive and they don't display everything you want so what you could do to get away from that sometimes is do kahoot or block it but block it to give them a different way of looking at definitions. And then the last way you don't want to, the last don't of digital literacy is using a pencil to write. So, you, I mean, this is a basic way, but using a pencil to write, it gets repetitive. So now students use computers, so incorporate more computer work into your classroom and that will be more beneficial to your students in the long run. And then, so digital literacy, it refers to an individual's ability to find, evaluate, and communicate information through typing and other media various digital platforms. So everything I said is a don't. You can use it in your classroom, but like a really hard test, you don't want to give those out. You want to, once in a while you'll give a test out, but you want to give more things that are, students are able to display their abilities and subjects.